So very good morning boys and girls. I hope you all had a nice weekend. So let us move to the topic. As you know we are discussing the chapter 2 linear equations in one variable wherein in my previous class I gave you clear picture on what exactly mean by linear and what exactly it means by equation and what exactly it is with variable. In today's class we are going to discuss the concept of finding solution solution of a linear equation solution of a linear equation so what exactly it means by solution so let us take an linear equation for example so I am taking 2x plus 5 is equal to for example 9 then what exactly it means by solution is that by keeping what value in x we will get 9 as the answer gives the solution I will explain you just look in this this is LHS side that means left hand side and this is RHS in the RHS side we directly have a number or a value here we have a variable so solution of a linear equation is such that what should need to be kept in X so that this LHS will also be equal to RHS okay so that exactly is the meaning of a solution that means what should we keep in x such that this value which is on the LHS side will be equal to RHS that will be called solution of a linear equation in order to find that we have two methods of which one is trial and error method one method is trial and error method and the second one is method of transposing the terms okay as these both are the methods which you have already learned in your previous classes I will start the exercise 2.1 in which I will use both these methods so that you will have a clear picture on how to use this method to find the solution of a linear equation so let us start so children I am there at page number 23 of our textbook so we are going to start this exercise 2.1 so it contains in total 12 problems of which some problems I will discuss in CW and the rest I will give you homework I will tell you at the end of this video what you have to do as homework so and as there is no specification that solve the following equations that we have to use trail and error method or transposing we can go with any method I will show you some examples using both the methods but as I am saying it is always good to use the method of transposing okay so let us start with solving some of the problems of this exercise so the first one solve the following equations x minus 2 is equal to 7 for this I am using trail and error method okay so on the LHS side we have x minus 2 on the LHS side we have x minus 2 is equal to 7 so x minus 2 is equal to 7 so trial and error method means on which side the variable is that should be resolved that means except that term no other term should be there on that side here on the LHS side we have x minus 2 so in order to remove this minus 2 what we have to do if we can add plus 2 to this if we can add plus 2 to this so we can cancel minus 2 but the same should be done in the other side also what are the operations we are applying on the LHS should be there on the RHS okay so these comments are not at all required but for your understanding adding plus 2 
okay so adding plus 2 i added plus 2 on the lhs and similarly on the rhs so as you know minus 2 plus 2 will get cancelled and the result is going to be 0 so x is equal to 9 hence we can say that in this question the value of x is equal to 9 okay so x is equal to 9 is the solution for this equation okay just to verify even this is also not required until and unless they ask us but for your understanding only i am doing this verification if you want you can copy this in the cw otherwise you just skip this one so the given question is x minus 2 is equal to 7 we got the value of x as 9 so if we substitute here 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 so on the lhs side it is going to be 7 is equal to 7 lhs is equal to rhs and thus we can say it is verified okay so if you get any confusion whether we got the right answer or not in that at that time you have to put that variable value in the question and if lhs is going to be equal to rhs then our answer is correct so in the cw copy this first one right up to here okay this comment also if you want you write and the verification for the first question you write it and for the later questions you can skip that verification and it is not at all required so this is trial and error method now I am going to transposing method of transposing for the uh, question number three I will tell you what exactly the homework is at the end of this video so the third one 6 is equal to z plus 2 here the variable is on the rhs side so through this what you have to understand is the variable can be at the lhs or at the rhs so 6 is equal to z plus 2 as we are going to use the method of transposing we have to delete this extra plus 2 in order to separate this variable isn't it so when we transpose this plus 2 to the other side as you all know it will become minus 2 so 6 minus 2 is equal to z 6 minus 2 is 4 4 is equal to z or z is equal to 4 is the answer or the solution to this problem okay hope you are clear transposing means plus if we move to the other side it will become minus so if it is multiplication it will become division if it is division it will become multiplication and if it is subtraction it will be the addition now i am going to do the fourth one so please follow me okay the fourth one is 3 by 7 plus x is equal to 17 by 7 so i am using the method of transposing only for the first one only i use a trial and error method because transposing is the important concept and which we have to follow for the next classes so 3 by 7 a fraction plus x is equal to 17 by 7 as we are discussing solving means we want what exactly the value of the variable is going to be so x is equal to 17 by 7 as you all know if there is no symbol usually what we will consider it as plus so plus 3 by 7 if we transpose to the other side it will become minus 3 by 7 okay so being the fractions of the same denominator you can do the calculation directly that is 17 the operation here is minus 3 divided by 7 x is equal to 17 minus 3 14 by 7 7 1 sir and 7 2 sir so the value of x is going to be 2 by 1 or 2 so please keep the answer in a box so that it will be easy for us to verify okay so the solution for this fourth one is x is equal to 2 okay hope you got clear with this concept now I'm moving to the next problem. So I'm moving to the 10th one because 10, 11, 12 are quite important problems. Rest I will give you as homework. So look, 14y minus 8 is equal to 13. So 
14 y first move the constant terms so the solution will come easily 13 minus 8 so if we transpose minus 8 to the other side it will become plus 8 okay so 14 y will stand still and 13 plus 8 we have 21 okay 13 plus 8 is 21 now as you know 14 y indicates that 14 into y so as 14 is in multiplication with y if we transpose that multiplication to the other side it will become division so 21 by 14 okay and as we have to find the final value we can cancel this 21 in 3 table okay or else let us go to 7 table 7 3 zero. Okay, 7, 2, 0. The value of y is going to be 3 by 2. Okay, so on submitting the value of y as 3 by 2 in the given equation, we can say that the LHS will be equal to RHS as 13. So the value of or the solution of this equation is 3 by 2. Okay, no need to copy but I want to verify this. So let us see. This verification is not at all required to copy in the CW, but if you want, you can copy. So we have 14 Y and the value of Y we have is 3 by 2 minus 8 is equal to 13. So we have to check whether LHS is going to be equal to RHS or not. So 2 ones are 2 seven are. What we have is 7 into 3 minus 8 is equal to 13 so 7 3 is a 21 21 minus 8 is equal to 13 and 21 minus 8 is 13 13 is equal to 13 as we got the LHS as RHS that means both are equal so we can say it's verified okay so I hope you are quite clear with the concept so far now I'm moving to the 11th one so please follow it okay so the 11th one 17 plus 6p is equal to 9 so let us solve it 6p as I told first we have to resolve the constant terms then we have to go to variable term here 17 as you know when there is no symbol or the sign before any number we will take it as plus so plus 17 if we transpose to the other side it will become minus 17 okay so 6p is equal to so when we are adding plus and minus as you know the resultant is going to be minus so 19 minus 17 is minus 8 okay now 6 is in multiplication with p if we transpose it to the other side it will become division so p is going to be minus 8 by 6 as we can't directly cancel them we will use two table 2 3s are 2 4s are so the value of p is going to be minus 4 by 3 okay so the answer is p is equal to minus 4 by 3 now i'm moving to the 12th one so x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15 so first we have to move the constant term which is plus 1 here so 7 by 15 when we transpose plus 1 to the other side it will become minus 1 okay so x by 3 is equal to as the denominator is not there we will take it 1 and the other problem is both the denominators are different in that case as you know we can use LCM method or we can cross multiply the things so 1 into 7 7 so 7 into 1 minus 15 into 1 by 15 into 1 that means so cross multiplication I apply like this and lastly this one okay so x by 3 is equal to 7 into 1 is 7 minus 15 by 15 okay 
So x by 3 is equal to 7 minus 15. Okay. So plus and minus being the term which is bigger of these two, we have to take that sign. So minus and the value is going to be 15 minus 7, it is 8. Minus 8 by 15. Okay. You should not leave it like this. We have to take out this 3 to the other side. So I am continuing over here. So x by 3 is equal to minus 8 by 15 we got. If we observe 3 is in division with x. So if we transpose it to the other side you will get multiplication. So x is equal to minus 8 by 15 into 3. Okay. So 3 1s are 3 5s are. The value of x is going to be minus 8 by 5. Okay. So the answer is x is equal to minus 8 by 5. Hope you are clear with the concept. So this is what the CW to be copied today. So please copy it nicely. Now I will show you what exactly the homework is. Okay. So as I did this first one, third one, fourth one and then this 10th, 11th and 12th in the class work, you copy those which I have explained in the board on the board into your CW and hence today's HW is going to be okay this second one and this fifth one and six seven eight nine okay so the problems which i have explained you have to write in cw continue with the points which i have gave the day before and the circled ones you write as today's homework hope you are clear that's all for today we'll meet you in the next class